Back at the action, Cesar Morales taking on Chaz Calvert. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out our next bout of the evening, Cesar Morales! Making his way to the cage, it is Cesar Morales. Comes to us by way of Mexico City, Mexico. Cesar Morales has amazing cardio in his fights. He also has a great ability to use his combos to land the punches and bunches, which is something for these Mexican boxers they are very, very good at. Yeah, and every Mexican boxer I've seen or faced has been tough as nails. He loves the training aspect over at the Caveman Crew as we see Rudy Bears in his corner. You have a question though, Jeremy. He came out wearing a big old sombrero. <laughs> Do they really wear those in Mexico? You know, Kevin, I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to ask him sometime. The other big thing that Cesar Morales does is he pushes the fight forward. Everything is about forward motion. And he says tonight, that's what it's all about. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, Chaz Calver. Coming to us by way of Lee Summit, Missouri, it is Chaz Calvert. The former high school wrestler has been training for over two years in the world of martial arts. He spent two months of this camp working on his Muay Thai skills. He is coming off a big win in his last outing in only 58 seconds as we go to our tail of the tape. Cesar Morales, 36 years old, 5'5", five 135.8 five, pounds out of Mexico City, Mexico. Chaz Calvert, 30 years old, 5'9", 124 pounds out of Lee Summit, Missouri. Chaz Calvert wants to avoid the shots but try to keep this fight standing. He wants to make it dirty and use that high school hardcore wrestling as he's needed. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands five feet, five inches tall. He weighs in at 135.8 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, Cesar Morales! His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighs in at 124.8 pounds. Fighting out of Lee Summit, Missouri, Chaz Calver. Referee Mike Anglin has the call for this three round contest. Cesar Morales in the blue tape, Chaz Calvert in the red. Let's see how well Chaz Calvert deals with the Mexican boxing style here out of Cesar Morales. Quick touch of the gloves. Big leg kick there out of Calvert. Calvert seems to have a style with both hands down. It's an interesting style, may not be the best one though. Yeah, both guys coming out real herky-jerky, a lot of a lot of uh, nervous energy it looks like so far in this fight. Big leg kick there out of Calvert, but Morales makes him eat it. Yeah, both guys are firing off in the clinch. Calvert going Taekwondo on us. Yeah, again, both hands down. Very dangerous way to fight in the cage. He may have told me he was a wrestler, but boy, he's got some kind of traditional karate, taekwondo style to him. Nice that one knee hurt. out of Morales. That was a good left knee to the body out of Morales that hurt Calvert. Oh, little low there out of Morales.
Now Chaz Calvert will get five minutes for the low blow. Always tough when you take one below. Yeah, these guys are both going pretty hard. Again, pretty herky-jerky. They're, they're a little wild thus far in the fight, so that's bound to happen. You know, even with the good technologies out there, the guys that like Diamond MMA, as we go to our TGS Instant Replay here, straight up and underneath, not a fun one to take. Yeah, looks like Calvert was kicking with his right leg, a right leg front kick, and uh, Morales was looking for the uh, left leg round kick. Yeah. Again, a lot of good technology out there, though, for these. Sometimes you just can't help it. Back into the action. Let's see how much that slows down Calvert. Again, nice low kicks there. Adam Rouse eats a big one. Good knees to the body, Adam Morales. Again, just pushing Calvert to the fence. Very nice, nice defense. Sprawl. This has been a back and forth fight so far. Never good to put your hands on your knees in the first round. That's a, a tough one to deal with here. Calvert trying to push forward, but both of them just through absolute tough hands. One minute remaining here in the first round. Yeah, Morales is just pushing, pushing, pushing. And another beautiful sprawl by Morales. Working Takes to the, the back. back. I like he's, he's trying to the chin. He's trying to sink in that rear naked choke. He has no hooks in though. At he's all. Very high on the back. Oh, but he does it anyway with 30 seconds left in the second round. Caesar Morales taps out Chaz Calvert with a no hooks in rear naked choke. You know, they call that a bulldog choke. You know, he got behind him, sunk it in, decided not to get the hooks in, and still finished the bulldog choke. Beautiful job by Cesar Morales. As we go to our TGS Instant Replay, again, takes the back, does not get the hooks in, almost goes straight out there. Look at that, right there. Pulls it over, finishes it with the tap over Chaz Calvert. And the sombrero has come out. You gotta love a good sombrero in the cage. You just, a, that, you have that, is, to. that is a big old sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> Let's send it up to the cage to Stephen Bear to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends two minutes and 27 seconds of round number one. Your winner by rear naked choke out of the blue corner, Cesar Moran! Huge win for Cesar Morales out of Mexico City, Mexico. Rocking the sombrero, nails the bulldog choke, takes care of business in the second round tonight here at Shamrock FC. Big win for him. But we still have more action to come here, ladies and gentlemen, for Shamrock FC 294. And we'll be right back right after this.